Hello, it's Rachel and it's been a huge amount of time, um, basically because I just haven't really been stitching that much. From my last floss tube, which was in November, I think I stitched into December and then didn't stitch at all probably January to April. The end of April I picked it up again, so there wasn't really anything to update. However, um, I have picked up my stitching again and... I'm going to do whip go this year. I know I'm really late to the game with it being May now. Um, and the reason for that is in previous years I've done magical stitches. This year because I didn't stitch in January. Um, that means I can't take part in the weekly challenges. And I think I'd rather just focus on getting some finishes done since I started a huge amount of projects last May for Mania. Um, yeah, it's not really my thing to have so many projects with so little work on, um, but it was a good experience to try once. So, um, I have some finishes. I've got three finishes. Um, I'll share those first, and then I'll go into my plans for Whip Go and what I've been stitching most recently. So, this one I showed in my last video. This is by Veronique Anjanger. It's the raspberries, and if I can fit it all in, you can see that it's finished. Um, this is stitched on antique white cashel linen, and I have a few of these different botanical ones I've mentioned before. I've got a magazine that I've showed with a lot of um, Veronique's designs in it, and I have some of the fruit as well. So this was the first one of the fruit and it's stitched, um, it's on a 28 count and it's just stitched using DMC. So I'm really pleased with how that came out. Um, really easy stitch actually. There's some back stitching on it, Not it's not too heavy on the back stitching, there's some around the raspberries and the leaves but nothing too difficult really so I enjoyed stitching that and I have another one kitted up I think it's the peaches or the apples I'm not sure which one but that one will probably be next although I want to do the strawberries as well so we'll see then the next one I finished was this one here this was a digital pattern from Etsy. Um, I think it's Flying Fish, the name of the shop, or Flying Fish Design, something like that. There's quite a lot of blends in this. But um, it was really nice to work on. I really like the I really liked the colours on this one. This is what appealed to me, so that's another one and the final one is one that I've been stitching on um, over the last couple of weeks and managed to get it finished and that's the Michael Powell Vanilla Ice which I started as part of Mania this is just stitched on a 28 count even weave Lagana I love the colours on this and I have the other ones from the same series, there's um, one with little cakes on that I think I might do next. So they are all the finishes. Then Whip Go. So what I did for Whip Go, um, and this is if you're not familiar with it, but I'm sure most people are, it's um, a group on Facebook that was started by uh, Jessie Marie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff and basically you set goals for your you, for 20, you set 25 goals, they don't have to be 25 different projects for the year um, and then Jessie draws two numbers so you fill them into like a bingo board and she draws two numbers and you stitch on those two projects for the month and try and meet your goal. So I've set a lot of pretty high level goals. I don't think 
I will meet all those goals necessarily, but it's what I'd like to do, so we'll see, you never know. Um, yeah, there's a lot of projects that I've put there for finishes, but I really want to get through some of them and, and whip down a little bit before I start anything else. So, the first one, now this one is not a big goal. It's My Lady's Garden by Mirabilia. My goal is simply to finish this gate because it's what's stopping me really from making progress on this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the metallic blend of threads is really difficult to work with. The fabric is not my favourite either because it's really stiff. So I think if I can get the gate done, that will um, hopefully encourage me to do some more on that. And if you're not familiar with what it should look like, that is how it should look when it's finished. So once that gate's done, I've done a good portion of the flowers and her dress. So we'll see where it goes, but the goal is literally to get that gate done. Um, next one is a mania start. This one, I forget what it's called. Old Castle Stories. Um, this one is from my bobbin, I think. It's one of the Russian designers. And that's what I got done during mania. So a lot of those on the window are half stitches and then the full stitches come with the brickwork. I chose this one because, well firstly I really like it, but it's fairly small. So I think that's achievable for a finish. So that's what I've put it down as a finish for this year. Then the next one... I also chose because it's small and I think I can finish it. It's another one that was started for Mania. This is Anchor Field Mice. And I have the tiniest start on this. It's literally the border at the top and the very start of the ears of corn. But the goal is to finish and that's on um, 28 count. They're all on 28 count, um, unless I say otherwise. Then, um, next up, so next up is this one. This is another one that is not my favourite thing to work on, although I really like the design. This is Dimensions Kitty Litter. And it's not my favourite because the background is all this dark colour here, so all the way across there, is five strands. Then as it lightens up, that's four strands, and I think then, I think either that one's four strands as well, or the both three strands, but only the kittens in the basket are two strands, and I think all the shelf or whatever the basket is on that is all multiple strands as well so it's not so much that I don't like working on it it's more that it, it hurts your hands to keep pulling the needle through um, such a space that is really too small for that number of threads so it's not been out for a good while that's what I've done on it um, and that's several hundred stitches because I was using it for magical stitches at one point. My goal is to put in five strands of background. Um, I think that's about my limit before, well I can probably do two or three and then I can really feel it on my hand and my fingers and then to spend two days on something that's two strands. Um, doesn't seem an awful lot but it's it is hard to work on so that's what I'm going with uh, next one 
I'm just trying to find there we go. So the next one is another Russian design. This is called Key to the World. And my goal on this is to get it half finished. This is on 32 count Lugana. And this is where I am right now. So not a huge amount of progress on this one. Um, oops, just knocked something over. But it's it's a really nice project. I do want to get some stitches on it. So that's that is um, yeah half half finished. And as well, and the same for this one here. This is Dimensions, Wreath of All Seasons. And the goal for this one is, again, to get it half finished. Which is not bad because, yeah, working on Ada is not my favourite. Well, working on the Dimensions Ada is not my favourite. And it's quite involved. Everything is backstitched and there's lots of colour changes. So... If I can get that half finished, it's one of my older ones, which is why I included it. And one I don't reach for very often because I know how involved it is and I don't particularly like the Ada. So so that's the goal for that one. Uh, next one is another anchor one. So this is um, Country Life, which was a magazine charts which is why how I've both probably you've got the gap in the pages my goal for this one is just to get the top three motifs done because there's not really very much of a start on this one at all um, so where are we that is where it is not very much as I say um, so I think getting the top motifs done is enough of a goal for that one. It's on 32 count. Um, Lugana again, that's what I got. Then, next one is another Dimensions. This is Simple Treasures, which I started last year, I think. And the goal for this one is to finish it. So, again, it's on 28 count fabric, not the kit fabric. And I really enjoy working on this one, probably for that reason. And it's really nice colours. So, Simple Treasures is the next one and the goal to finish. Then another Dimensions, this is uh, Christmas Morning Pets, this one's stitched on the kit fabric which I think is 18 count, no progress from last time when you saw it but the goal is to finish it, there's not so much to go and it's quite small, so that's that one, then Next up is another Russian digital pattern. This is Sweet Home Autumn. And I think this, I think it's my bobbin. I'm pretty sure it's my bobbin actually. And I have all four of these seasonal doors, so I do want to make some progress on them. This is where we're at at the moment. So, only a small start, but I do want to get it finished. Then, next one is a mirror. Royal Holiday. And this one, um, I think I started this last year. It's on a hand-dyed fabric that I dyed myself with Rit dye. This is where she is. 
I can't see a place at the moment because it's scrolled up but the goal again on here is to finish so that's quite a big hefty goal so she is on the go board twice um, we'll, we'll see you know as I say some of these numbers have been called already so January, February, March, April that's eight numbers have been called um, apart from May obviously May has been called as well um, this one is Marjolyn Bastin um, put out by Lanart it's called Birdhouse Artistry it was another uh, mania start from last year and again the goal is to finish it but there's um, <laughs> not so much on there at the moment but I do want to do it and this one the way I've got my board this one's been called for May so I'm hopeful we'll see but that should be the next thing that I'm stitching on then I'm running out of space very quickly here and what's the next one another Russian one this is Cute Witch this is from Etsy from Lola Lotta Shop I'm trying not to show reflection um, I've not worked on this one for a while it was out a lot for magical stitches um, but what I didn't do was back stitch as I went and although I don't mind back stitching I tend to do it as I'm going so I know that before I move on with this I really need to go back and get that back stitching in but this is uh, where it's up to I think about half the stitching has been done but as I say none of the back stitching has been put on um, and that is because when I was counting stitches for that group I didn't count back stitch and quite often to meet the challenges I just needed to get the stitches in so that's kind of why then we have another mirror and this is Cathedral Woods Goddess started as part of Mania last year this is how far I got and most of these haven't been touched since Mania because I've been working on well when I have been stitching um, I've been working on other things apart from that Michael Powell one which was a mania finish um, but uh, yeah I just want to work towards some finishes really because I didn't do very well on that last year I think I only got maybe four three or four something like that um, and I've got all these projects sat around that clearly I keep all mine in frames so that's a lot of storage as well so I want to get some of them um, finished off so then I can think about framing them um, the next one is Mareshka this is daffodils this was my new year new start last year I think I think so maybe the year before I can't remember um, but anyway the goal for this one is to get it half finished and that is where it's at so far this is absolutely stunning I really like this one and this is stitched on 32 is it? 32 count Murano I think yeah I'm pretty sure in a kind of slate blue colour then last one no second last one is this one which is fairy tale town it's always really hard to see but it's the one that's huge let's see if we can so I am over here way at the beginning but the goal is to get two houses done so up to there really where that greenhouse is 
or the green roofed house should I say we'll see we'll see how that goes I mean this is I've said before it's five foot long it's on 32 count fabric and here it is so no change from last time when you saw it but yeah hopefully I'll get a, this house is nearly done so to get another house completed um, isn't such an unreasonable goal although it might be with all the other completions that I've um, written into it now there's one more to show you which is Fairy Guide or Evening Star this is Passion Nakamo this is I think three years old now two or three years old it was a new year new start I think three years ago I'm pretty sure so last time you saw it I had stitched maybe to there ish on her dress and I've been stitching on her since the beginning of May because on the Whipgo board this is the other number that has been drawn and I haven't taken my pattern off so let me just do that quickly and the goal for this is a finish and I've done now I'm not going to scroll her up but um, I've done from maybe here all the way down um, I'm now on the beading which obviously is why that is on there I'm not sure how much of the beads you'll be able to see or whether they're going to sparkle or not um, but there's a lot of beads on her I don't know I'm really trying to show it but I haven't really got a clue what you can see so I'm working on the beads there's a little bit of stitching to do I ran out of one of the threads one of the um, petite treasure braids so I have to reorder I have reordered that hopefully that will arrive in the next couple of days and then that one should be finished which gives me the rest of the month to work on the margarine bastin piece um, and hopefully get that finished and then we'll see what's called for um, next month apart from that um, I do have a little bit of haul um, the other thing I need to do is stop buying things because I sorted out all my kits the other day and I felt a little bit overwhelmed with how many I've got that I need to start that are just sat in boxes and I've got all these to finish first um, so yeah we need to stop buying things um, <clears throat> now I should have checked my last video because I know I bought some kits and I still had some to come and I can't remember exactly whether the first one I'm going to show you was on that video or not but I'll show it again just in case I don't think it was but who knows so the ones that I was waiting for so these were purchases last year um, but because I've not done a floss tube they've not been shown these are by Lettuce Stitch which is in association with Luca S whatever that means it's written at the bottom so they're the, kind of practically the same set up and how they're packaged anchor threads like the Lucares but this one I thought was absolutely gorgeous full coverage really liked it it's called Spring Fairy so if anybody's interested um, there's the details it is it's on 16 count Ada there's 58 colours and it measures 12 by 16 and do you know what I like about these is it shows you here really clearly what type of stitches are in in there so it's two strands full crosses and there's some French knots by the looks of it and back stitch so I like that and then it has the other information like the, the Ada 16 count um, the size difficulty level and that's really useful 
not that I usually look at those things when I'm buying it, but it is useful to have on there. So that's the first one. Then another lettuce stitch. This one is called Christmas Wood. And I really liked the colours on this of the sky. And I love little woodland animals. So there's that one. Again, full coverage. And this one is called Santa Claus and Snowman. I must have been in a Christmas me Christmassy mood when I ordered these. Well, I suppose it was at the back end of last year, wasn't it? And the last one is the reindeer's on its way. Again, full coverage. But I just thought they were really pretty. There's one more that I was looking at. They didn't have it in stock when I ordered those. And right now I'm wondering whether I should get it because, as I said, too many kits, too little time. Um, I did, however, this is the only thing I've purchased this year, get the Margin and Bastin limited edition kit. It's four seasons. And it's just gorgeous. Not very clear on the packaging, actually, but... Yeah, I had to get that one because it's limited edition, so... <laughs> Um, I really like Margin and Bastin and if I didn't get it, it was pricey, I'll, I'll say that, it was kind of expensive compared to others, but if I didn't get it and missed out, I'd, I'd kick myself later down the line, so I did want to get that. But apart from those, no more spendy apart from on floss and fabric when I need it, and I'm okay for fabric for a while I think, unless I need some bizarre colour, but then I've got dye, I can dye it myself for the most part. Probably wouldn't dye black, but I don't think I need that for anything. Um, so that's everything. So hopefully, um, famous last words, my next update will be the end of May and I might have two finishes. We'll see. Um, don't think there's anything else to share at the moment. But I am back stitching. Hopefully that lasts. I, you know, I do other things as well. I have other hobbies, and at the minute, I'm trying to redecorate my house as well, um, bit by bit. So um, it's not that I'm doing nothing at all. It's just that you have to make time for everything, and there isn't always enough time. So yeah, we'll see how far we get. Anyway, I've got my goals. They're huge goals. They're now public goals, so when I fail them all at the end of the year, no, that's not going to happen. I think I will fail some, the ones that I've got to catch up on, but, you know, you've got to make the goals big, otherwise they're not a challenge, are they? Anyway, that's everything. I hope everybody's doing okay, and I will speak to you again soon. Okay, bye.